Soybean seed treatments. Darren, this topic was pretty easy about 10 years ago. We had a couple of choices. Now we've got a whole bunch of choices and you can mix and match things. I bet there'd be a million different combinations. Well, and here's the other thing too, is some guys say, you know what? I only want the new stuff. I don't want anything that we used to do back in the day because boy, that just doesn't make sense. It has to be outdated. One of those things that guys think might be outdated is inoculant. Why, why on earth would well, you not use wait, inoculant yeah, but, in this year's soybeans? Right, but when we talk about inoculant, there are newer strains that they're finding and developing every year. So there's newer, better stuff that hopefully is going to work better than the old inoculants you used to have. Yeah, with modern science now, they actually know which strains of bacteria are a lot better at producing nitrogen more efficiently for your crop. So those are the strains that the companies are putting forward now in their products. Back in the day when I was a kid, we used to put inoculant on the seed and you know what? They really didn't know how much was in there. They didn't know which strains were in there. They didn't even know there were multiple strains. They just, well, it's rhizobia bacteria, put it in. Okay, but here's what we do know. There are extenders for inoculant and you can use those, but it's still not going to stop bacteria mortality. Because don't ever forget that inoculant is simply live bacteria. And within 24 hours, usually, you're gonna have half of those bacteria dead if it's not planted and in the ground. Whether you have an extender on there or not, you know, it's not gonna, I mean, it's gonna make some difference, but you're still going to have bacteria death. So the point is we want you to inoculate your beans and get them in the ground as soon as you can. And if you say, well, I get my seed treated and I get all these other treatments on three weeks before I plant, okay, that's fine, but get dry inoculant then, put that in the planter box right when you're ready to plant, then you don't have any problems with stickiness or anything else, and you get the live bacteria in the ground. Other biological products could include things like quick grits, for example, that's a combination of beneficial bacteria and fungi, and there are many other products out there too. We just encourage you, try something, try some things on your farm. That's why we're using it on our acres, because we were trying this for many years, doing strip trials, everything else, and it paid. So again, just try some things on your farm, especially with the biological products. All right, let's, now let's get to the more popular ones, fungicide and All right. insecticide. All right, well, let's talk about fungicide. First of all, you absolutely need to put a fungicidal seed treatment on your soybean seed. Well, why, it's on, Darren? Because I don't always have disease. Uh, it's on all the corn <laughs> seed that you're planting, and you think about that. It comes pre-treated for you because the seed companies know it's that important. They have to have it on there in order for you to get a good, successful stand year in and year out. Now with soybeans last year, some areas of our country were exceptionally dry all the way through the year. And the seed treatment still paid as long as they got some well, crop. Well, yeah, but it doesn't always pay. And what I always tell guys is, look, it's three or four dollars investment. And you know, if you gain five bushels one time, that's enough to pay for, for fungicide. And this happens on a regular basis where you can gain five bushels. Well, you just paid for this stuff for, I don't know what the math is, 15, 20 years, depending on whatever your soybean price is. My point is, it's something that's probably going to give you a good return on investment in just about any situation over the long haul. But don't just look at one year, you've got to look at the average. Well, the other thing, Brian, that many farmers are doing now is using insecticide seed treatments. And in many cases, it's a combination product that has a biological, has a fungicide, and has an insecticide because there's so many people that are putting all those things on that the seed companies were just overwhelmed by people saying, hey, how can I put all this stuff on in one product so I don't have to put on all kinds of liquid that it drips all off right. the seed? All right, but when we talk about insecticides, there's really only one family. It's the neonicotinoid family. So we're talking poncho, gaucho, or cruiser. It, it's one of those. So if you're going to have an insecticide out there, what you're going to gain is you're going to get early season control of things like bean leaf beetles, pretty decent on grasshoppers, and even soybean aphids to some degree. Since soybean aphids come in so late in the season, you won't get all the aphids, but you probably reduce your numbers by 50%. And in a lot of cases, that's a big help. Well, and, and you think about it, those early season insects, most people really don't have time to get back out in your fields and scout well enough to find them before they cause a big problem. So putting on that insecticide on the seed treatment, it buys you time when you're out trying to spray your corn or your other crops so you don't have to be quite as good at scouting, at least for insects in your fields. And also we encourage you to talk to your seed dealer because there are some seed treatments where you can get respray programs, so that can be a good deal for you as a farmer as well. All right, now let's get real specific. There's a new product that came out this year, so Monsanto's got their Acceleron treatments, and this year they added something to Acceleron. What is it? Well, that's easy. Zemium, Brian. That's the new product. Yep, so this Zemium is something 
something that BSF has developed now. It's a different family than what Headline is. So the old Acceleron had Headline. The new Acceleron also has Headline, but it's got Zemium on top of that. Plus, it's got Apron in there, which is still really good for Pythium. And Darren was talking earlier about you don't want to use really old products. And I'm thinking, how long has Apron been out or, you know, the active ingredient there? I mean, we're talking, what, 30 years probably? And it's still excellent on Pythium, still the very best thing in the market. So with this new Acceleron, you got three different fungicides. Plus, you've got insecticide, which would be similar to gaucho. And those fungicides each have their own strengths, and that's the big thing. You say, well, why do I need three fungicides? The reason why is because none of those three will get everything all right. by themselves. Right, and then the other thing is it helps with resistance management and that type of thing. I would also encourage you to consider something like Innovate. Uh, Innovate has two different fungicides that are very systemic in there, uh, plus it has the, what would be the active ingredient in poncho or clothianidin. And the thing I like about Innovate is it's all in one jug. So there isn't a whole bunch of different things that you have to mix together. That's pretty handy, but let's face it, your seed dealer is going to be putting these on for you. So, you know, you have to talk to your seed dealer about, well, which treatment do you have? Yep. Why is that a little better than using something else that might be out there on the market? Because there is a difference between seed treatments. Yep. Well, once again, we really encourage you to take a look at these soybean seed treatments, especially as the soybean price has gone up, yields have gone up. And the way I look at it, too, I'm spending a lot of money. I'm investing a lot of money, I should say, in very good soybean seed on my farm. I want every seed to grow if I possibly can get it to grow. So I want to really protect that seed with a good fungicide or fungicide combination and insecticide, and then also boost yield a little bit with inoculant and another biological product. Well, if you can get that seed out of the ground quickly, you can create a good early canopy, which will help you against our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.